Good evening folks and welcome to day four of my beer advent calendar. Uh, for anybody who hasn't been being following, basically I have a beer advent calendar for the month of December. Obviously 24 beers, 24 days. And today we're at day four. So let's see what beer we have. Now, just basically so you know, I have a list of the beers that are in the box. However, I don't know which beer I'm going to get which day. And anybody who watched the last episode, I actually screwed that up a bit. I read the label, I seen one, one, one word there, threw me off, and I thought it was another beer. And I caught myself later on in the review, luckily, because I was totally confused. So this day, I'll make sure I pay a little bit more attention. Alright, so day four, just like a chocolate advent calendar. Got different doors, punch the door, and pull out your beverage. So, yeah, let's see what we got. So the beer we have for day four, I'm going to zoom in so you can see the beer. There you go. So the beer, the beer I have, I just want to find it in the box. Meminger Gold, and it's a Marzen Austrian style. So it's obviously, it's uh, these are all German beers, so obviously it has to be brewed in Germany, but this is uh, an Austrian style Marzen. And that one I had last night was a Marzen as well. So just give you a little bit of background, what I know about Marzens, basically Marzen, the word Marzen is March, because back in the day, before refrigeration, Germany actually had a law where they could only brew beer on certain times, and I think it was between September and April, because those were the cooler months, so... You, you didn't have refrigeration, so if you brewed in the summer months, a lot of the beers would spoil quickly. So they brewed in the colder months. And Marzen means March, because my understanding is basically that was towards the end of the season. So basically people would use whatever they had left over for the last batch. And they tend to make the alcohol content a little bit higher, so it would act as a preservative to last until they drank it in the fall. And Marzen, my understanding, was normally drank in the fall around October and it was basically join the harvest celebrations and whatnot and then actually at one point it was the beer for the wedding which eventually evolved into Oktoberfest so at one point Marzen was the Oktoberfest beer. Alright so on the box let's see what we got here. Jeez um, I just seen it. Okay so they say Meninger Gold Marzen, 5.1% alcohol, and they just said Australian style Marzen. So I'll read the can, see if there's any further information. Um, they give the address of the brewery, which it is um, in Germany. So it is a product of Germany, all the beers are supposedly. And just give the ingredients. And water, barley, mark, hops. And they don't mention yeast, which is kind of odd, but best before date 05 2021. Alright, I'm going to give my uh, glass a quick cold water rinse as per usual. Just basically cool down the glass, get rid of any residual dust or whatever might be on the glass. I'll pour it up. Um, there's an app I've been using, and I don't know what I did with my phone. Um, Actually, bear with me for one second. I'll get my phone. Just seen it here. All right, sorry about that, folks. It's a one-man operation, so if anything goes out of the ordinary, it's kind of hard to uh, pick up on it. Now, so I'll pour it up. Wow, this is actually a lot lighter than the Marzen we had last night. I don't know, perhaps that's why Australian style Marzen's, maybe they're a lot lighter in color. I really don't know. Hopefully, hmm, no strong aroma, decent head. Are right, you going to take, actually, with the app I've been using, it's beertasting.app. And actually on the uh, box here they mention it and they suggest you use it. 
And actually, I'm just seeing on the thing here, it says you will find 24 exclusive imported beers from Germany. All beers in this box are produced following the regulations of the German purity laws dating back to 1560. And that's what I mentioned previously, um, that they made a law that you could only use barrel, or hop, hops, barley, and water. And there was an exception for wheat, for wheat beers. They never mentioned yeast, because back in the day, they weren't actually aware of yeast at all. Um, Louis, Louis Pasteur, a lot of people, when they think of Louis Pasteur, they think of milk. But when he discovered bacteria and whatnot, he was actually working for the beer industry. And they didn't actually know beer existed. They thought at the time, basically, you brewed your beer, and back then they left it out in the open. So the bacteria and the yeast in the ear would actually do their fermentation. But they didn't know that. They thought, you know, if basically it was a miracle, and if you were faithful to your superior bringing, he would make your beer. So with this app, normally what I do, I take a picture of the can, but I actually notice they have a scan code there. Let me take a picture of the scan code, see if it works the same way. If it doesn't, I'll just, no, nope, beer not found, so. I'll go back, I'll take a picture of the can. Hmm. You're not getting it surprisingly. I'm going to try that again. All right, so actually the beer came up and it's a bottom fermented and that basically means it's a lager. Um, just looking at the different ratings you got today. A little bit about the beer description. I should get a taste of that right away, which I will do now. I don't want to lose any of the flavor or aroma. Mm. It tastes a little bit like the Marathon I had last night. We'll just see what they say. It said the Memminger Brewery GB sorry, GMBH, I'm not sure what that stands for, is one of the most important breweries in the region and one of the best in Germany. With the claim to make even better, the company management sticks to the brand policy, mincing quality is the basis of the business. The Memmingen Brewery meets the high demand of the beer drinker with a complete assortment of first class beer specialties. The beer has a clean golden color with an airy head and a medium to crisp body. Aroma of hops, hay, and bread. Taste of hops, grains, bread, citrus, fruits, and light grass. Bitter, bitter with grainy notes, a refreshing solid. And that's about all the information on the app. And I'm going to go to my carrots. And these carrots, once again, they're from the Cicerone Institute. And... Got Vienna Lager. I'm just seeing if they have a. Hmm. They have a Marzen. They don't have a. Yeah, they don't have an Austrian Marzen, so I assume there's not much of a difference. So, let's just see what I got up here. So the Marzen, they say, they say low bitterness. They gave it a one out of five. Nice refreshing. They say the color is gold to dark amber, and this is gold. I would actually say probably closer to a straw. That might be the Austrian aspect of it. They say the alcohol content is normally 5.8 to 6.3. So this is 5.1. So this is actually lower than your typical Marzen, your German Marzen. And I'll read the flavor and balance, and once again, this is for a German Marzen, but we'll see how close it is. It says, a malt balance beer with about 0.5 to 1.0% more alcohol than German Pilsner or Munich Hills. It says you get flavors of bread, toast, bread crumbs. They say the Marzen beers were once brewed strong for long summer storage. In 1810, Marzen was used to celebrate the royal wedding that has become the modern day Oktoberfest. So there you go. Not a lot of information. Now, to give it a rating, as per usual, my ratings are out of five. A one is, don't like it, it's going down the drain. A two being, 
nah, I'm not a big fan, but I'm not one to waste a beer, so I'll drink it. A three is a good beer, a four is a very good beer, and a five is the best beer I ever had. I think for the Marzen last night, I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure I gave it a 3.5, so it's between good and very good. Um, I'm actually finding this Marzen a little bit easier drinking than last night, but not as much flavor. This is actually, when I think of Marzen, I think of like the one I had last night, the German Marzen, darker color, a little bit more flavor. This actually reminds me of a little bit more towards a Pilsner or a Hell's. Not a bad thing. Hmm. I'll actually have to uh, Google the difference between a Munich Marzen and a German Marzen. Pretty easy drinking, I'll give it that. Um, for my rating for the Men, I'm probably pronouncing it right, or wrong, sorry. M E M M I N G E R, Meminger Gold Marzen. Um, I'm thinking of either a 3.5 or a 4. I was actually leaning towards a 3.5, but I am finding it a little bit easier drinking than the one last night. But that being said, my go-to beer are normally lagers, so I like a crisp, refreshing beer. Not saying I don't like other beers, but that would be my preference. If you give me a, a Pilsner and a different type of ale, generally I'll probably go for the, the lager, the Pilsner. Yeah, I think I'm going to give this one a 4. Um, if I didn't give the other Marzen a 3.5, I'd probably be tempted to give it a 3.5. I don't give 3.25 or 3.75, it's normally your total numbers or half numbers, so I'm going to stick with that. And I'm comfortable giving this one a 4. With that being said, I wouldn't say it's a strong, strong 4, but it's a 4. It's a very good beer. I'll definitely pick up another couple or if somebody gave them to me, I wouldn't hesitate to drink it. So there you go folks, that's my rating for day four of my beer advent calendar. Hopefully you can join me tomorrow for day five to see what delight we have. Um, feel free to join me on Facebook or my or YouTube. Uh, just Google beer rating with Sean Connors as you can see on the sign on the back. Um, if anybody's following and they have the advent calendar, I'm pretty sure there might be one or two. By all means, comment, let me know if you agree with my rating, if you think I was too high, too low, what your preference would be. Let's have a chat. I'd be more than happy to. So there you go, folks. That's this episode of Beer Rating with Sean Connors. Hopefully you can join me tomorrow as we tackle our next beer. Until next beer, as always, enjoy responsibly. Cheers.